earlier. I've noticed a lot of you guys have been commenting on my tutorial video and you've been having trouble with taking patterns off the head and getting them to lay flat. It's a really common issue I've noticed. Um, so I'm just currently removing the pattern off this kangaroo boy. There's a the first couple pieces down there. So I figured I would set up a little camera and talk you guys through how to do that. So I'm just going to turn it Okay. On. So. I don't know if you can see this, but I have marked out different segments of the head and as you experiment, you'll be able to figure this out a bit more naturally, but I've kind of, I like to divide it into muzzle, cheek, jowl down here, bottom jaw. I try to do this bit of the forehead and then the top bit of the forehead as two separate pieces because basically you want to look for where it bends the most. So this is along the eyebrow, so that's where you would usually cut into it, but if I separate it into two separate pieces, it'll just look a lot neater. So I'm going to start taking on this brow piece. So I tend to use the dodgiest scissors I can find because it gets really gummy and I've actually screwed this pair of scissors because of it. It's got all this nasty black stuff on it, it just makes them stick horribly. Right, so let's keep taking this off. do something because I keep forgetting to do this and that's gonna suck for me when I finish so whenever I take up a piece I always mark along the edges like this and a number it's this is number piece number one so I'm writing number one and I'm just gonna mark along here as well there's also a little bit in here as well come on there we go. so now I've cut along all the lines so it's a completely separate piece so I'm just gonna start Working on carefully peeling this off. Right, so I'm looking at this piece and it seems to be already be sitting pretty flat. Um, but I feel like along here, you can kind of see it's a bit bubbly. So what you're basically doing is cutting into these bubbly pieces to get them to lay flat. So it's the bubble there. I'm gonna cut directly into that bubble except probably using the not screwed scissors. And now when I push that kind of flat, it'll separate. I think the other side is all right, but we will see. So I'm gonna take this down the floor with me. I'm gonna put this on the paper. Now with these bits, you kind of have concave as well as convex pieces. So I just tend to just kind of make sure that it's all kind of even like that and get it to sit flat on the page. So, you kind of see that there? It's like along here, along there. I've got this all down, it's kind of sitting flat on the page. I stuck it down on the page and it is sitting lovely and flat. You can kind of see where I cut in there, but in the end I didn't actually need to. And that's completely fine, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you can always pull it off the paper and wiggle it around a bit and replace it if that's what you need to do. I'm gonna take another piece off the head, probably a cheek piece, just so I can show you guys how to cut into it a little bit. Okay, we're good. Alrighty, so I've taken off a cheek piece. Now, as you can see, there is no way this will lay flat as it is. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our scissors, and we're gonna cut into the curved bit here. So because this is so curved, you're probably gonna need two snips to get this flat. So you kinda wanna see, so I'd guess, Kind of in there because then this bit will sit flat so we're gonna make that incision we're gonna go pretty deep pretty deep in if we can manage it so i'm gonna take this actually like all the way to the cheek here there we go. now as you can see that's laying a lot flatter but we still got to fix this little bit here so we're going to make another incision along here there we go so oh, that might even need to go a little bit further but you want to try to do it in as fewer snips as you possibly can manage um, because the fewer seams you have, the better it's going to sit. So I think, I think that looks good. I think that's going to sit lovely and flat. Let's see if that, it actually does sit flat. Yep, and as you can see, it's gone down really nicely. It's not really bending the paper all too, too much, so I'm pretty happy with that. And you can see I've also labelled this one half because the cheek I want to transition into the long fur on the edge of the cheek. But so I've labelled it half, I'll cut it, um, I'll leave it long and then shave it short. So 
that one and then we've got and this is the muzzle piece and yeah there's that one for you guys and after this is done i just cut it out of the paper so i figured i would start making these kind of short tutorial videos for you guys to kind of go into more detail about the more frequently asked questions i get and you know keep up the fursuit making content on this channel because that's what a lot of you are here for so i better give it to you guys um so yes i will see you guys in the next little short tutorial thingy bye bye now